Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I thought the minute I want to start the video, motorcycle goes by. I thought it was going to be such a long time before I was able to say welcome back to my channel. If you don't know what you don't know, last night my channel got hacked, terminated. Obviously, if you're watching this video, my channel is now back up. I was finally able to get in contact with someone at YouTube and they reinstated my whole channel. It was all a big old mistake, but I'm going to be talking about that in my next video because I want to warn other YouTubers and other creators about what happened and let you guys know the deal on everything. I just wanted to thank you really quick because you guys are the reason I got my channel back. So many of you over a thousand of you guys were retweeting all day yesterday for YouTube to help me and because I no longer have management so I ended up getting a few different YouTube contacts and we got it all sorted out so yeah obviously my channel's back up I'm super excited and it's back up right on time because I got the keys to my new place today I'm also filming <laughs> such a weird angle uh, it, it's getting dark out and I was trying to film in the car but it was super dark so I just rolled down the window you know and just busted out here my new neighborhood filming Christians in the car say hey where are we going? We're going to our new house. Heck yeah, dude. We got some stuff packed up. We got the whole trunk packed. Um, but tomorrow, the movers are actually going to pack all the boxes and take over all the furniture. Where is my light? It's getting dark. This is all we can do today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you guys an empty house tour right now. But yeah, I'm going to head to the house right now and give you guys a full empty house tour because I know a lot of you have been waiting. I will save the whole really long corny spiel for another video, but I just want you guys to know I'm extremely grateful for you and your support these past four years. You guys are the reason I've been able to save up money, support Christian, even get this home, and I am so much more grateful than I can even put into words. So thank you so much for supporting me and for making this possible. It is so incredibly appreciated, and I just love and appreciate you guys more than words can say. So I know you all want to see the house. Let's get over there. Let's Let's do an empty tour. Be sure you're also subscribed to my channel just because of what happened last night in case it unsubscribed you guys. I would hit the notification bell um, twice, like hit it so you're unnotified and then hit it again real quick so the two dots pop up on the side to make sure you're positively notified of all my videos because after this video today, I will film this weekend when we decorate the new house with all the furniture and we decorate for Christmas. So there'll be like two house tours, one today and then a furnished one. So yeah, be sure you're subscribed. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. You guys know I love you and let's go. All right, this is gonna be pretty echoey, obviously, because nothing is in here yet. I'm not gonna show the outside of the house just for Christian's safety, and we have our new alarm system getting installed out there today. So, sorry, I won't be able to show my the front where I put the wreath and all that just for his safety. So you first walk in and this is a preview that you get. I showed a little bit of this on my Instagram, trying to like stay back in the corner to give you guys a full view. So when you first walk in, we have this really nice like wood flooring, which you guys know was something I really wanted. I made an entire list of everything I wanted in a home and I didn't want to settle until I found a perfect one. And I honestly believe this home has everything. So you walk in, we got the really nice flooring. Um, then we have this little cutout. So this is gonna be Christian's playroom, I think. We actually have like a huge movie screen that we're gonna put down right here with a little couch and some of his toys. So when he has friends over, this is gonna be his whole little like little boy man cave. It's gonna be super cute. I love how a lot of lighting just like shines in. I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch out this uh, ceiling fan for something that I choose. But then you walk into the front of the home right here and it's pretty open. It's pretty a pretty thick walkway. Um, and you walk in here. We, it, this has the same flooring like all throughout the house again. Sorry. I'm like so echoey So you walk in and we have the huge like living dining area situation here We have a ton of grass outside for Sadie, which I'm obsessed with porch um, They actually ended up leaving me their TV It's like 60 inches because they said it was too heavy and they couldn't take it off the wall So we have like the cable hookups and everything and then we have these really nice shutters kind of all throughout they also went ahead and left me their curtain rods that they put up so i don't have to install anything or put any holes in the wall which is super cool so let me go in the corner and give you guys a full preview this is the full we're gonna do like couch right here to watch tv we're gonna do a dining table over there with like a big mirror on the wall or like a big clock so again we got the flooring all throughout this room is honestly huge i'm not sure how it's like coming off on camera but in person this is so much space the most i've ever had so i'm so 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 grateful you guys know i've been wanting a white kitchen with a huge island literally forever for years and we finally got it i am so 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 happy i am obsessed with this kitchen i can't wait to do like meal preps and just film in here i could literally put like eight bar stools right here that's how big it is it's crazy and i don't know if i told you guys in the intro but this home is only one year old it's a military family who just bought the home and then they literally just got restationed in hawaii so yeah i literally looked out with a home that was like brand spanking new so huge island 
absolutely love this. I'm gonna get some bar stools right here. And then I just went ahead, I actually came over last night and I was unpacking some stuff. So I unpacked some flowers and then the owners actually left me this, which was super sweet of them. So we got that. I think this is called like rose quartz or something. I'm not sure the exact kind of island that it is, um, but the kitchen is just so beautiful. White kitchen, everything I wanted, tons of cabinet space, tons of storage. Tons more storage right here. I already set up like a few little things last night. Um, brand new oven, more storage, more storage up there. It does have a walk-in pantry, which is super cool. And they already went ahead and lined the pantry like with this paper. So they left that for me, which was nice. So you shut this guy. They left me a really nice brand new stainless steel fridge. And then we have another little situation here. I also just got this in my PO box from one of you guys. I believe her name was Stacy. This is so incredibly sweet and just so cute that she would think of me. So I just kind of put that there. Let me step back here and give you guys a full preview. So yeah, full living area, kitchen. I'm gonna be switching out that lamp for like a chandelier or something that I choose. But it's just super open as you can tell, which is like all I wanted was more space, something white and clean and relatively new. So we're obsessed with the kitchen. So you go ahead and take a right and we have a few different rooms. Again, it's not too bright today. Um, there is carpet in some of the rooms, which is okay, but most of the house does have that nice hard flooring. So we have a huge room here, which I might go ahead and make my office because we have a lot of lighting, which is cool. And then as you go in the hallways, it keeps with the wood flooring. And then we have a nice little bathroom right here. Again, just white and gray, super clean, minimalistic. Turn on this, oh, do we have light? Uh-oh, maybe, okay. We just have a little hall closet here. Christian already decided this one was gonna be his room. He put his suitcase in here. So just another carpeted room with some good lighting, but all the closets do have mirrors, which is cool. So everything here is like mirrored, what's up? <laughs> Ew, what was that? Never do that again. And he already um, decorated his little tree, so we put that in his closet. Then you walk back out and we have another hall closet. Love that. Lots of storage. Then we have another bathroom here. Just white and gray. The lighting is like throwing off the color, but super clean, minimal. And then we have another huge room right here. This is actually the biggest one because there's a, there's a walk-in closet and this one. So maybe I'm gonna give Christian this one. I know he wanted this other one, but I don't care which one he gets. So then you walk back out here, past the kitchen, and then we have a full laundry room in here. Let's turn on the light. They left me their brand new washer and dryer, which is super cool. Again, really nice flooring, and then tons of storage up there. That just leads to the garage. I'm not gonna go ahead and show you guys everything about my backyard, again, just for safety, because we're getting uh, security installed on like the windows and everything, but we do have a lot of grass back there for Sadie, which she's gonna just be in love with, so. Then next to the washroom, you take a left, and this is the master. Again, it's I don't know how the angle comes off on camera, but this room is pretty huge. I'm gonna be getting a Cal King bed, and that will easily fit in here. So I'm gonna switch out this for a fan that I really like. And they left me like all the curtain fixtures, which is cool again, cause they're already done for me. So then we just walk into the master bathroom, which has a ton of storage. We have this hall closet in there. Where's my light? And we have this really nice Jack and Jill, like white bathroom situation. Again, I came to the house yesterday by myself to just bring a few little things. So I already put like some makeup and stuff in here. I just have my camera. Um, these are just like pull out drawers for like makeup. But I always wanted a really big spacious bathroom with like the Jack and Jill kitchen situation. So we have that. Try and get out of the frame. We have a huge mirror. We have a separate tub from the shower, which I've never had before, which I'm very excited about. So we have that. And we walk in here and we do have a walk-in closet. I have one tiny pair of shoes up there. 